There are an amazing amount of decorative stitches and specialty decorative stitches in the Viking Designer Epic. In menu L, there are what are called dimensional stitches. There's applique stitches, there's pop-up stitches, there's sequin stitches, there's a little of everything. But let me show you an easier way to pick out the stitches you wanna do plus know where there's videos built into your machine. So we're gonna go back to the Joy OS Advisor and where it says select technique, select dimensional stitches. When you go here, each of those groups of stitches are categorized. So if I wanna start with the applique stitches, which is what we're gonna do, we can go ahead and select it and the applique stitches only appear in what is called the project tab. So I kind of pulled those out and said, here's what you can do where, with applique stitches. Plus the tutorial comes up. As we go through touching the little bubble with the arrow to the side, it shows us what we need for materials, how to set this up. And remember when you see that play button, that's the video that will nicely demonstrate what you need to remember about these stitches. And sometimes I do need to kind of watch this and go, oh yeah, that's, I need that one extra item. So I'm not gonna play this video. We're gonna actually stitch. I'm gonna minimize the tutorial if you use that little box in the far right corner of the brown bar. Kind of sets it down there in the dome and you can always pop that back up and even put it up to the side of your machine as you're working through and need to refer back to it. So it's nice, it's always at your fingertips. So let's go ahead and pick one of the stitches. Let's just do 14. It does require foot S because as you can see, it is going to come out that big. Next, we have just some fun fabrics that I've cut up into squares. And if you're unsure how big it's going to be, it is the size that's on the screen, so that size is plenty big enough to cover up the heart. So I am going to go ahead and use the start stop button. And look, the needle stopping down feature automatically turns on because it needs to sew to a place, stop with the needle down, lift up the presser foot, so you can take your little square of fabric and you're gonna come from behind the machine underneath the foot and as far up to the needle as you can get it. The close, I mean, like almost like hug it, even kind of come up on it a little bit. Then push the start stop button. And what it's gonna, it's doing is it's stitching the heart over the top of the, the blue fabric. Once it's done with the row, it will we'll take our scissors and actually stitch or cut around each of the shapes. So that's what that little gray area is within the decorative stitch. If you need a little bit more room, you can always touch the foot up button, raise it to its highest position to help you get the fabric as close as possible to the needle. Then we're gonna touch the start stop button and let it stitch out. Let's just do one more. I am gonna use that lift to bring it a little higher up. This fabric's a little fluffy, the one I'm stitching on. It's a little hard to get underneath, but now it won't be any problem at all. When you wanna end the stitch, go ahead and touch the scissor button. It blinks to indicate that it will finish up the pattern, lock, cut, and lift the foot up all at once. There's the lock, there's the cut, and all you have to do is hang out until it's done. All right, so here's what we have so far. And yes, if you have a big piece, it looks like they're kind of overlapping each other. So now, remember this is kind of a raw edge um, opportunity of applique. So again, nice, close, sharp scissors. And you're gonna cut each of the little uh, appliques close to the stitch. Now, here's a little hint. This actually is a batik fabric, and batik fabrics have a very tightly woven uh, base as they dye the fun colors on, on it, and so they don't unravel as much. So if you are using some cotton fabrics, you've probably noticed which ones unravel a little bit more than others. So you can tell like a good quality cotton fabric doesn't unravel as, as quickly. Can you imagine the combinations of thread and fabric that you can use to try out all these built-in applique stitches with?